Grandstand Betters here with your daily free sports pick for Saturday, March 19th. Just a reminder, if you're new to Grandstand Betters, go ahead, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our free picks, predictions, and contests all year long. And while you're at it, smash that like button. We have two more days of March Madness here over the weekend. On a side note too, the Irish took down Alabama yesterday, moving on to the round of 32. And the Cleveland Browns traded for Deshaun Watson. It is a great morning here in the Grand Sam Betters household. Now we have another NHL pick for you today, but first let's recap the Bruins and the Jets game. We had the over six in this one, ended up pushing thanks to an empty net goal with about 30 seconds left in the game. In all honesty, we were a little lucky to get the push there, but at the same time, we were a little unfortunate not to win this bet. These two teams came out firing on net in the first period. They combined for 25 shots on goal, yet didn't score anything in that first period. 0-0 going into the second. Olmark and Hellebike, they played great last night, both having over 0.931 save percentage. The Bruins, they would end up putting up 45 shots on target, eventually taking a 3-2 lead with about five minutes left on a power play goal by Hall. Add the empty netter in there. The Bruins win 4-2, helping themselves stay ahead of the Capitals in the wild card race and actually tie themselves with the Rangers for third in the Metro Division. Tonight, we're going to look uh, at a couple of Canadian teams between, uh, between the pipes here that are just playing for pride at this point in the season. The Ottawa Senators, they're going to take on the Montreal Canadiens and Philip Gustafsson. He will be starting in net for the Sens. He's been awful this year. 3-10-1 with a 3.68 goal against average and an 8 point, or a .890 save percentage. Quite honestly, it doesn't matter though who's in net for Ottawa right now. They've gone 3-7 and seven in their last 10. They're just not a good team. They did, however, just come off a win against the Flyers, but the Flyers are one of only three teams that are worse than the Sens in the East, so it's really hard to put much stock in that win. It's also hard to pinpoint what has really kept Ottawa down this season because it's definitely not due to lack of effort. Their power play is mediocre. Their penalty kill, it's not great, but they're not the worst in the league. What it really boils down to is a mix of a lack of goal scoring. They're the seventh worst team in scoring goals with 2.62 per game and their defense. They give up the six most shots in the NHL, which is about three, uh, which leads to giving up about 3.25 goals per game. They give up about 33.3 shots per game as well. The good news tonight, they get to play another one of those three teams that's actually worse than them in the Eastern Conference. And that's the Canadians who are sitting dead last actually in all of the NHL with 41 points. Recently, over the last month, uh, this team has actually been playing much better. They were just so bad for the first few months of the season that they put themselves out of the hunt before they really started putting the pieces together. They have, though, lost four of their last five, and unlike the Sens, it's very easy to figure out what the shortcomings of the Canadians are. They have horrible offense with the second-worst power play, and their defense is just as bad, especially on the penalty kill, only stopping oppositions 74% of the time with the man advantage. They actually give up more shots per game than Ottawa at 33.7 per game, which has led to them giving up 3.82 goals per game, which is worst in the league. Habs fans better hope Jake Allen doesn't start tonight in goal as he is 5-16-3 uh, on the season and has a 3.18 goal against average. And he hasn't won a game since November 27th, mostly because he was on the IR, but still has not had a great season all year long. So what is our best bet in this one? Well, with already a confirmed Gustafsson in net for Ottawa and this team playing their fourth game in the last six days, we immediately would have to lean to the Habs. But they're priced at minus 140 at the moment. However, uh, with that price, you know, if you know us here at Grandstand Betters, you know that that's a little too much juice. We don't like paying that juice. So both these teams, they've given up three or more goals in the last uh, nine of their combined 10 games. They also together allow more than 67 shots on goal per game. Montreal, they've scored three or more goals in eight straight games. And with Allen coming off the IR and him most likely maybe starting tonight, He's still going to be a little rusty, uh, having not played uh, but one game in the past couple months or so. So we're going to take with our best bet for Saturday, March 19th, Sens, Habs, 
over six goals. Now, most likely, this is going to get up to six and a half around mid-morning or early afternoon. Although, maybe with all the college basketball betting today, it gets overlooked. If it does get up to that six and a half, though, just cut that unit size in half just to be on the careful side. Now, remember to put your best bet in our comments below. Continue to try to climb up our best bet leaderboard challenge. We have a very tight race this month in March, and the winner will be taking home $100 in cold hard cash. Also, just a reminder, all our free bets on YouTube don't actually make it onto our Grandstand Betters daily cards, but they're here to help you guide yourself in your decision-making for the day. If you are looking for our full card, head on over to GrandstandBetters.com, become part of our family, and start living that Grandstand life. But as always, sit back, relax, enjoy some March Madness today, and we'll see you tomorrow.